When people do want to work together and they care about the town and care about each other, you can accomplish anything. Spending time with entrepreneur Bill Fassard, you quickly learn he has a passion for community, his integrity reflected in the way he treats his staff. Thank you. And though he's slow to accept credit for his many accolades. Hotel of the Year Award right here. With he's quick to acknowledge the people he credits with driving his success. Steve, the rooms are looking nice. Thanks for getting the walls. Yeah. Growing up in St. Paul, he summered in White Bear Lake with his family, eventually building his business here, always striving to improve and open to asking how. Let's ask our residents and the, share, the shareholders, or residents are the shareholders, what are, what are we looking for? And you listen and you go back and say, hey, this is what we, is good for our community. Fusard was crowned King Boreas in 2008, helped get the governor's fishing opener to White Bear Lake in 2009, and was part of the group who helped White Bear Lake win the distinction of being named the best town in Minnesota by Minnesota Monthly Magazine. I love the people, I love this town. I love every, every it's a gift. People help each other here. Fusard seems to constantly be in motion, having his hands in nearly every aspect of his hotel and restaurant operations. It's a team effort. And in keeping with his love of movement, his idea of a moving bear four years ago came to fruition this New Year's Eve, high up top Rudy's rooftop bar. I just kept thinking, hey, what about white bear? Let's drop a bear. And where's the right spot to drop it? One time I was really thinking right downtown, but if we're taking care of it and stuff, why not incorporate it into, the, into Rudy's and white bear country? Yet? By all accounts, the dropping of the bear at midnight played out before a huge crowd, people packing the sold out hotel, restaurant and bar and the surrounding parking lots just to get a glimpse. Fusard <coughs> says he'll dress the bear in costume year round, though it will become a tradition for it to drop at the stroke of midnight every new year. And with every new year, he hopes to bring another new tradition to the town he loves.